so now let's send actual data so remember we had downloaded four certificates so i have uh, downloaded the four certificates over here and the fourth one that we had it was in a url so i'm going to show you that copy this and create a file amazon root ca1.pem and paste the contents in this file so now you have four certificates and you have a file called moisture.py so open this and this file will be attached to this video course so you can utilize this file and then host uh, the shadow client is just a id we can keep that host name so for host name you go to your console go to manage thing interact and copy this the https so use this as your host name so root ca will stay the same the private key so now let's copy the private key so you see this private.pem so i'm going to copy the file name and paste it over here and then the cert file so the certification so i'm going to copy the cert and save it and then if uh, you have changed you have used a different name then utilize that and then every 60 seconds we are going to send some random data over here whether the moisture is true or false it will randomly select that and then it will send the state so it the reported state whether moisture is okay or moisture is low so it will generate a json and then uh, send it to our iot and the certificates will help to authenticate and all so that's why we need the certificates so this is all it's doing uh, it will utilize the certificates and then every 60 seconds it will generate the moisture value as a true or false and if it's true then it will send a json where reported state is okay otherwise it will send reported state as low and we have set a sns topic that whenever the re reported status is low we will get an email so let's see if we get an email so i'm going to go to my console so i have all my files over here i am in i've created a folder called moisture inside this i have all these files and then this moisture.py so make sure first of all you have python installed the latest version so i don't have the latest version but it should be fine and then after your python installed make sure pip is also installed so you can do pip version to see if pip is installed or not if not uh, go ahead and install pip as well but it should come if by default if you're using python 3.4 or later and that's what i recommend to use and once you do that so your python install uh, pip check the pip version doesn't matter and then after that run this so pip install aws iot python sdk so it will install the aws iot's uh, python sdk so go ahead and run this i've already done that so once that's done finally now you can run your program so i'm going to do python moisture.py and then hit enter so we see over here it sent something the response was accepted and it sent the moisture as okay so we are not going to get any email because the moisture is okay so after every 60 seconds now for it will send something else so we are waiting till the moisture is not okay and see if we got an email or not so second time as well it sent send moisture as okay so we'll wait till the moisture is not okay so this time the moisture came out to be low so now i'm checking my email to see if what moisture value was received so i'm going to check my email so you can see over here i already got an email which reported moisture as low and the timestamp and all so this is how you get subscription notices for aws iot and so in this demo we saw how to utilize aws iot core uh, we saw what shadow is and then how to test out aws iot and then we generated our script or ran a script to send data to aws iot as well